Hi, I'm Greg Mazur with Davy Tree, and today we're talking trees. Fall is a great time of year for fall coloration, football, and soccer. Fall coloration is particularly spectacular in northeastern North America because it's one of the few places in the entire world where you have a unique combination of deciduous trees and the right climate to produce brilliant fall colors. There are four basic pigments that are responsible for the coloration of leaves. That would be chlorophyll, the carotenoids, anthocyanins, and tannins. The first of those is chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is present throughout the year and it gives the leaf a green color. The leaf is actually reflecting the reds and the blue coloration and what our eye picks up is the green. It overwhelms and masks any carotenoids that are present in the leaf throughout the growing season as well. The carotenoids become more visible in early fall as the chlorophyll begins to dissipate and then the yellow coloration that we see here in this maple begins to dominate. The third pigment responsible for fall coloration is anthocyanin. Unlike the first two pigments, chlorophyll and the carotenoids, anthocyanin is not present during the growing season, except for a few specific trees. Anthocyanin develops as we begin to get cooler night temperatures in the fall. It leads to a reddish coloration in the leaf that overwhelms the green and fading chlorophyll pigments. The fourth pigment responsible for fall coloration are the tannins. Tannins are typically present in oaks and give the leaf a dull brown color. In some of the more fertilized oaks, you might see a little bit more of a reddish coloration before the tannins fully develop. The tannins, unlike the first two pigments we talked about earlier, chlorophyll and the carotenoids, are not present earlier in the growing season and become unmasked as the year develops. A few select plants like sugar maple will also develop orange coloration. Orange is not a specific pigment, but it is actually a combination of two pigments, the carotenoids and the anthocyanins. And in years where you have the right combination of cool temperatures where the anthocyanins fully develop and you have the carotenoids which are present in the fall all the time, you have a perfect combination of an intense development of orange coloration. You may wonder why some years the fall color is just a little bit more intense than other years, and that's because of the development of those anthocyanins. Anthocyanins develop best when nighttime temperatures are below 45 degrees, but above freezing. When you have that combination with bright sunny days, sugars are trapped in the leaves, enhancing the development of the anthocyanin colors and keeping them in the leaf. Other factors that come into play are the lack of any early fall storms that come through and blow the leaves off the tree before the colors have a chance to fully mature. So now you know how and why fall colors develop and why certain years are more dramatic than others. If you have any other questions, contact your local arborist. I'm Greg Mazur and I'm Talking Trees.